Hey everybody, it's Apparition. Welcome back for day 12 of Let's Play Pikmin. Uh, in the last part, it was a really good day. Things were really going our way, and then uh, we got trolled by uh, the Buffy Blowhawk. He liked to blow Pikmin in the water, and uh, he drowned two Pikmin, which is not cool. So today, we're going to go and we're going to get revenge on him. So let's dive right in. Uh, it's gonna feel so good to just kill the guy. Like, if, as far as I can remember, every other playthrough I've done of this game, I've left him alone and he hasn't done any damage to me. He, he just like hovers around, not doing anything. But uh, he decided, hey, let's get one more, one last trolling session in there. Anyway, we're gonna take out like 30 reds. We're gonna take out basically all of our blues, and then the rest will be yellows. Actually, I'm gonna need more yellows now that I think about it. Okay, so, uh, we'll put, we'll put like, ten of these guys back. <laughs> I, I can't do math very well. <laughs> And yellows. I believe I only need 20 for the part I need the yellows for, so we should be good. So basically, I'm gonna get these ship parts and then I'm gonna flower up my pigment for tomorrow. That's the plan. Okay, I should have some extra time because these parts are all really easy. Okay, first things first. We're gonna take out that. Um, no, flower flowering is later. Ship parts take priority. Okay, where are you? I, I want my revenge. And don't hover over a pool of water, please. Okay, I'm not going that way. They'll get stuck on the rocks. Go away from the water. Stop hovering over the water. Okay, come on. That's good. That, that's like perfect. That's, yeah, come back and play. Ah, die! That's for all the trouble you caused me. I was leaving you alone. Jerk. So we got some pellets here. And, uh, we're gonna have the red, we're gonna have the reds carry this thing back. And uh, now that I've thought about it more, I think I am going to actually have to kill that thing, so... Ah, uh, you guys. I... Okay, whatever, they can carry it back if they really want to. It won't hurt me in the long run. And if we're taking our blues, make sure we only have blues, I don't want anyone drowning. And we're gonna, we're gonna kill these things. Because I, now that I think about it, I think they're gonna be in the way of this uh, so swarm. And we lost two, okay. Acceptable losses. Okay. I don't know why I bought this many blues. I'm not gonna need this many. Do I have to unblock this? I do not, okay. There's four blues up here. If I remember correctly, this part doesn't take much. I think it only takes like 15. Yeah, so we'll throw them all on there anyway. That'll take care. Of course, there has to be a strangler. Oh well, that'll do it for that. Now if I'm right, they're gonna go right through that area. Yeah, so. It was necessary to take those guys out. Or else they would've just eaten up my Pikmin. Sadly, a couple of yellows stayed behind. I mean, brought that part back, but I think we'll be okay. Chronos Reactor. This reactor changes permuta per permutations in the space-time continuum into pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. 27 to 30 parts. If I find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Very good indeed. Um, Let's see. There's my yellows. Come on, you guys. How many yellows do I have with me right now? That is the question. 
Uh, it's talking about a future game, but uh, in Pikmin 3 you can actually see how much of each type you're carrying without having to pause and stuff. Uh, in this version you couldn't, but you know, it's natural that they improve the game over time. Eight. Or nine, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. So we're gonna go back here and get our yellows. Split up. Yellows. No! I said yellows. Thirteen? There's others. Oh, they're over here. Okay, and apparently they sprouted a couple. I guess they carried a ship part back. And why is there a red and blue? Okay. 24, I guess that's okay. We prefer an even number, but 24 should be fine. I think I only need like 10 or 15 anyway. Okay, so what you have to do is throw, throw them up there. Now is not the time, yellows. Not the time. Get over here. Okay. Get you guys over here. Yeah. Over here. It's really hard to get them over here without, yeah, see, falling off. There's always at least a couple that fall off. Oh, I lost a lot of them right there. Well, they got that part back. That's always nice. Number two, Iodium Jet. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage, that's easy on your family budget. This jet will prepare your wife smiling and propel you to keep... Yeah, propel you to a happy home life. 28 out of 30 parts. If I find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Alright. And that was bad. Hey! Oh. Well then. Uh, throw them back up there. But yeah, see, like I said, these parts, these last three parts, they're super easy. Scaling in this game is kinda weird. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, no. Did not mean. Uh, I've got plenty of time left for my 13 day run. Have I? I think, now that I think about it, I think I might have done 13 days one other time. If I managed my time better yesterday, I might have actually been able to, uh, to beat it in 13 days. But, you know, I mean in 12 days, but I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. Still a good run. There we go. Whee! Okay. Uh, none of them fell in there, right? No. Okay. That should be it. They'll carry that back, and uh, then we just get to spend the rest of the day flowering Pikmin. Uh, I want to get the spinning wheel faster. I found my UV lamp. The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor whenever I look into it. Okay. Very good. I suppose I am missing off. Eh, I'll, sh I'll show it after this. Come on. There we go. There's our 29th ship part. Basically, it for the main game. All that's left is the uh, final area, which is basically just a trial and a boss. So. UV lamp. This handy light is great for tanning, but it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it'll affect my escape from this planet. Perhaps there are other parts like this as well. Yeah, you've said this several times. I've recovered 29 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Yes, that UV lamp was the key to exploring a wider area. Makes sense to me. Oh, that sound never gets old. That sounds awesome. Okay, so I have like half a day left. I'm gonna show something right here. I'm not gonna actually fight it because there's no real point. Unless you, you know, hate yourself. Which, you know I do, but I, I, I only hate myself when there's, you know, just reward. See that thing over there? 
that that thing is a jerk. It, it's a, basically a secret boss. If you get here before day 15, it'll be here. And you throw a pigment at it, and then uh, basically it'll break open and you'll fight a boss. A really, really hard boss called the Smoky Prog. There's no point to fighting it really. It's basically poisonous, so like if you throw pigment at it and it fall they fall off or it runs over them or anything, it kills them. Instant death. As far as I know he hasn't been in any other Pikmin game. And uh there's no point in fighting him. You get a hundred Pikmin if you kill him. But you'll lose basically like a hundred Pikmin if you do fight. Oh god! That's him over there. I did not wake you up! Okay, so yeah, we're running. Anyway, we're just we're gonna I, I I did not wake him up, I swear. Run away! But yeah, that's him over there. I, I'm being a coward, I don't care. There is no reason to fight him, and I did not mean to wake him up. But basically I'll charge your base. So yeah, I'm done with my <laughs> I'm done with my base. I have no intention to fight him. Call me a coward all you want. But uh, I, I don't feel like losing Pikmin, and I've been trolled enough this game. I don't understand how he hatched though. It's supposed to be you have to throw a Pikmin or attack it or so something, but he just randomly woke up, so... Anyway, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day flowering these guys up. It's not really necessary, it's just, you know, kind of a nice thing to have. There we go, That's this is a good patch right here. It should basically do it. That's weird though, I really don't understand how he hatched. I was just showing that the egg was there, I did not mean for it to hatch. Really weird. Maybe somebody could explain why it hatched to me? Because I also have no clue. It's supposed to take getting hit for it to... For the what we call it hatch. What the heck? Oh, those are pigment over there. I prefer not to leave a pigment behind on the final day. Okay. Don't know what you guys are doing. So he fell in there, did he? No. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Hey, he's just basically chilling out at my base, I guess. I have no intention of fighting you, buddy. I, have no I also have no idea how that pigman got over there, so... Live and learn, I guess. Now, because that guy's over there, I'm gonna take the long way around <laughs> to get to some more gra- Wow, get up. Get some more grass. You're basically gonna want reds and yellows flowered. It it's a kinda nice to have blues flowered. It, but uh, blues aren't really necessary in the fi for the final boss. They're just necessary to get to them. So yeah, it's not. Basically, make sure make sure you have like I don't know, 60 reds, 70 reds flowered, which I do because I checked before when I uh, was fighting that what that uh, armored cannon beetle. So I have a lot of reds flowered already, so I'm good there. It's just I want to flower these yellows. And I can't find any grass. This is quite a conundrum. Oh, here we go. Rocks work just as well. So yeah, the never-ending mystery of why the Smoky Frog randomly attacked. Really? No nectar? Come on, give me some nectar. Thank you. Is that everybody? I think everybody's flowered now. Okay, oh, yeah. looks like everybody's flowered, so we're good to go. So for the final time in this LP, let's go to sunset.
12 days since impact. At last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the four steps below, I see a region where my final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support fails in 18 days. Courage! So, we lost two in battle. They're both blues. Not bad. Um, we haven't done that bad in Left Behind, except for that one day when I left 50 behind. Other than that, we've only left 8, and that's not bad. But the 50, obviously, was really bad. <laughs> but I digress. Um, lost in battle's kind of high. Um, but it's not too bad. I usually have about 100 blues left at this time. But I'm usually around this around this level in uh, yellows. I, and, I don't know, reds... Reds is about where I'm at too, so it's mostly just blues where I'm short about 30 blues, but like 30, 40 blues. So, but it should be fine. Like I said, blues aren't really needed in the final day, so should be no worries there. So yeah, let's go ahead and save. Save complete. Now we have unlocked the final trial final area in the game with only one ship part. And you can see the comets there. It's really cool. You only see this when you unlock, right when you unlock the final trial. See, it's already gone. But yeah. We have finished the impact site. The forest of hope. The forest navel. And a distant spring. Come back tomorrow and we'll finish off the game. See you guys then.